We're going to talk bar indication now, and I want to talk you through the features of the Delkin buzzers. I've used Delkins for probably 10 years or more, totally sold on them, never used anything else since I started using these. First of all, we're going to look at sensitivity. So looking at the, the blue Delkin first, how about this for sensitivity? Look at that. Just a tiny amount of movement on that bobbin there, and I'm getting all that indication. Now in this situation, that's too much. And what a lot of people do wrong with these buzzers is they have them on number six sensitivity on the plus setting, which means it picks up vibrations even faster and they're going off all the time. Now, because I'm using fluorocarbon mainline, which is very, very heavy, I'm letting that sink. Obviously, the more of it's touching the lake bed, the less the line's gonna move around in the wind. So even though we've got a bit of a crosswind today, I'm not getting any live movement at all. If I was going for something like Adrenaline, which doesn't sit as low in the water, I'd be getting more false bleeps than I am on this. So even on the plus setting on six, I'm not getting any false bleeps on very, very light bobbins. I've got the night lights on there, still not getting any. But for a full bloody take, that, that sounds like a full bloody take, you know, and I'm only moving the bobbin a few inches. So straight away, I would move it onto the minor setting, which basically means that the little V um, vibration sensor that's in there that takes a little bit more before it starts to go a little bit more vibrations needed to actually set it off so straight away it's a, it's a little bit less sensitive but if I turn that down now to probably number two see that's a lot less sensitive there but I'm getting full blooded runs here you know if the bobbin pulls up to the top still getting enough indication that's more than good enough and then I'm not going to get, be getting any false bleeps or anything else on that one so that's how to use them don't have them on plus and six all the time I have mine on minus virtually all the time the only time I turn them over to plus is if I'm snag fishing right up against the trees the tiniest movement in the line needs to be indicated I then have them on plus and I turn the sensitivity up as high as I can without getting false bleeps now if you find it is windy the wind creeps up during the session and you start to get false bleeps just turn the sensitivity down that's all you have to do and then they won't go off and you can see you know we've got a bit of a crosswind here none of them are going off even on a higher sensitivity. A couple of other tips for when you're using the Delkims. If you've got braided reel line, it will magnify the indication considerably. So the worst thing you can possibly do is use braid and then have them on the plus setting then on six. They'll be going off all the time. So keep them on the minus setting, turn them down even to number one, and you'll still be getting good indication, but they won't be going off all the time. And if you find the bobbins are moving at all, then I just recommend you screw an extra weight into the bottom of the bobbin, just make them that little bit heavier so they don't pull up and down so much in the wind and it will stop all that. And the other nice thing about this vibration system is even if the bobbin creeps up slowly in the wind, it won't go off. A roller buzzer, because the roller's moving, will keep going off. Where this, you can just turn the sensitivity down and it won't go off at all. And then moving on to the bobbins, these are the night lights with the duo carbs. And the duo carbs there, what they're basically doing is stopping that bobbin moving about in the wind. So it's just holding it nice and still, hardly any weight to those at all, because they're made out of carbon. And then the night lights, if I pull that up, the night lights actually going off at the same time as the buzzer's going off. And that night light doesn't work on a battery, it just runs straight off the buzzer, draws almost no power, so a real nice addition. And if I pull that up tight, just to show you how that clicks away, I'll just do up the, the uh, reel a little bit. That just clicks off of there really nicely. So when you get a tape, you just pick the rod up and it clicks straight off. And the reason for that is there's two magnetic ball bearings in there. So they hold the line under the same tension all the time, whether it's braid or mono, and the line just clicks perfectly out of them. Let's put that one back on again. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at the receiver. So the TXI buzzers are cordless remote. Yeah, so that's, that's sending out a signal, that's receiving it. So just to talk you through quickly how to actually program it in, you can put it onto local or distant. I'm just gonna put it on local. And that's just vibrating in my hand. You've got a vibration system on there as well. You can turn that off if you don't want to use it. And then on the back of it, there's a little tiny button and I just press that just lightly once and what you'll get there, you can see that light's flashing. Now, I haven't got a purple buzzer here. 
that's actually got the TXI system on it. So I'm going to move through, just pressing that one more time onto the red. And then all, to do, all you have to do to activate it, you just pull the red buzzer. Did it? That means it's programmed in. And it's going onto the white one now. Haven't got a white buzzer. So onto the next one, blue. And then, did it? That's programmed again through all the others because the one at the end is the EV buzzer. That means it's done, and it's vibrating in my hand. And if I just turn that off and then turn it on again, diddle it, means it is programmed. And then if I turn this down to nothing, this middle one, every single bleep on the buzzer is heard on here. And that's how I like to fish most of the time. I have no sound going through this at all. All the sound is going through the sounder box, which is up in my bivvy. So it wakes me up in the night, no problem, but there's not loads of sound at the front of the swim, which I don't like. And you're not also not alerting everybody that you're getting takes. I mentioned earlier that there's two settings on the RX Pro receiver, local and then distant. And we're going to check the ranges of those in a second. But before we do, to show you another new little gizmo that Dale can have come up with, that fella under there is part of a D-lock system, which is basically a quick chain system to take your buzzers on and off the buzz bars really quickly. All you have to do is undo those couple of little screws there and then fit that onto it. And there's obviously another part that goes on the top of your buzz bars or your bank sticks, and you can just clip the buzzer on and off in seconds. So without further ado, we're going to program this buzzer here, turn it off first of all. There we go. Right now, so with the buzzer turned off, I just press down the blue button that's normally the night light adjustment and turn the buzzer on to plus or minus, it doesn't matter. Get the normal bleeps. There you go. So that's going to carry on going off. So I'm now going to do a runner and see how far away I can get on the local setting. So here we are in the next swim down Alcatraz, probably 50 yards away from my rods and on local it's still going off. So plenty good enough for in the back of your bivvy and probably good enough to be in the swim next door if you're having a cup of tea with your mate. If there's trees in the way it is cut down quite considerably so you need to bear that in mind. But what we're going to do now is just switch that off, put it onto distant, just wait for that to pick up the signal again and then we'll see how far we can go on distant. A nice thing about this, if I get a take while this is happening, it will, this will cut out and it will go straight into the normal mode and register the take. So uh, let's see how far we can go. And here we are in the beach. I'll turn this off now because it's obviously working at this range. Probably best part of the world, I'd like to cast that for 300 yards I would say from your rods now. Obviously Delkin, we're not saying be 300 yards away from your rods, but we've done this to demonstrate how strong the signal is. So that if you're bivvied up in trees on a big French reservoir or something, you know that you're still gonna get a signal even if you're 50 yards away from your rods completely enclosed by the trees. And this little fella, if you use it on local all the time, will give you 6,000 hours of battery life. A little bit less if it's on distant because it's sweeping faster then and looking for a signal more quickly. But if you have it on local, 6,000 hours. That is monumental for battery life. So that's the receiver. Let's have a look at the night lights. The night lights on the Delkims have got five settings. The first one is the default, so when you turn them on, they will glow normally bright. And as you see there, your night light is going as well. And then they'll go out and there won't be any night marking at all. So let's just let that go out and then we'll do the next one up. Should have 10 seconds uh, of latching there before it goes out. Okay, one bleep is low on the light and then can you see there we've got night marking so the bobbin is glowing 
and also these are glowing on the top there. So a lot of people like to use this because if they're in the bivvy, a way away from their rods, they look down, see that glowing, and they know the buzzer is on and working. Personally, I don't use them, but a lot of people do, um, and it does definitely help. So the next one is two bleeps. Super bright. So, and then off completely. And then the next one, three bleeps. Super bright again on the bobbin. And then we should go to night marking as well. So you can see we've got a very faint glow. And then four bleeps. is low and then night marking. Okay, so if you want to see, say you're fishing on a river and you, and you want to see whether the, the bobbin's moved at all because you're hitting little tiny bites, that would be the one to have it on because it, on low it's not blinding you so you can still see if the bobbin's moved and then it goes back to that again so you know the buzz is always working. So they're the four settings. The night lights, as you can see, pulling that, they work exactly the same as the buzzer. So it's entirely up to you what setting you put them on. If you turn them off and turn them on again, go to the default setting, which is the one I use, which is normal brightness on the LED and then no night marking. And then moving over to the final one, the Delkim EV, that's the cheapest one in the range. Hasn't got the cordless remote system, but you can upgrade it to get that. And then the night marking is on there as standard with just the normal brightness on the LED. So that's the range from Delkim. I've used them for absolutely years, never had a problem with them. The after-sale service is brilliant, sensitivity is unrivaled, and so is the reliability.